my daughter got married in March. I got to walk her down the aisle and felt so proud. And you think that cancer wants to deny you of this. And then you think, ah, you picked on the wrong bloke this time. I was diagnosed in September. Couldn't be cured, but you could be treated, managed, and you can live with it. And you think, well, that's not too bad. After a PET scan, a bone scan, and a lung function test, that will change. But it's spread further than we thought. It's in my bones, on my lymph nodes, started spreading to my left lung. And then he said, I think he got immune to it upsetting people. And he just said, oh, it is going to kill you. The way he told me, you, it is going to kill you. I thought, it's not going to kill me. No, I don't even feel ill, let alone think I'm going to die within a year. Yeah, I think if he'd been all nice about it, it just makes you think maybe I would have believed it. And so in a way, you've got to sort of thank him for it. So I've had six sessions of chemo. The first two lots of chemo just couldn't do anything. I just felt too rough. It was like five day hangovers. On the third one, it was had the chemo Thursday. And then on the Sunday, it was a nice sunny day. My wife said, uh, should we go for a walk? And we got all the way to South End. And we walked back and it was, I couldn't believe it, we'd walk nine miles. At the moment, my life's just totally relaxed. I'm enjoying it. And we've got a holiday in October booked for Cyprus. A big family holiday. So we've got four kids all together, five grandchildren. We've got Jess nine, Ellie six, and we've got Reggie's five. Jaden's three and Harvey's just coming up for three. Cancer comes along and it makes you realise what's important. A family. My wife. All your kids and your grandchildren.